In this example, we want to find the value of b that will make the following function continuous. It is the function e to the x for x less than 1 and the function bx plus 2 for x bigger or equal 1. In order to do this, we realize that the only place we have to check is at x equals 1. Because the function e to the x for x less than 1 is continuous and the function bx plus 2 for x bigger or equal 1, that linear function is also continuous. The only problematic point is that x equals 1, so if we check at this point and make the function continuous there, it is then continuous for all real numbers. So, how do we check continuity at x equals 1? We use the test of the definition of continuity, meaning that the left-hand limit, the right-hand limit, and the function value must all match at x equals 1. Let's work these three things out. For the left-hand limit, we get the limit as x goes to 1 from the left of my function. Well, for my function, the part to the left of 1 is just e to the x part. This is the limit as x goes to 1 to the left of e to the x. But that's a continuous function. So this is just e to the 1, or e. For the right-hand limit, my function here is the bx plus 2 portion, because that's the part that is bigger than 1. So I get limit x going to 1 from the right of bx plus 2. That's a continuous function. That's a linear polynomial. So I can just plug in 1 for x to get this should be b plus 2. And then finally, for the function value, since the inequality for the bottom one has greater or equal to, that means I'm defining the function by plugging in the value of one to the bottom part of it, which means the function value at one should be b times one plus two, or b plus two. Now for this to be continuous, I need all of these things to match, so in particular, I need b plus two to equal e, or b to equal e minus two. That's how you solve for this constant to make this function continuous.